Hi guys, I'm Carrie. I'm here to talk about the Primus Airbreeze wind turbine. Everything you see here is included in the arrival kit. Three blades, hardware including Allen wrenches, stop start switch, hubcap, nose cone, and of course the body of the turbine. All of this that you see here fits into this box. Pretty good size, not too big. And is only 13 pounds when shipped. Now that you know what's included in the arrival kit, let's talk about these wires. The Airbreeze comes with three wires, grounding, positive, and negative, about two feet in length. There's a dampening here to absorb vibration. There's also four screws on the yaw for your mounting purposes. Inside the body of the turbine is a built-in controller. The factory settings are preset for lead acid batteries all you need to do is connect these wires to the battery. Most users will not have to mess with the settings, the preset settings. However, if your project is more specific, you can adjust with this screw here. There are detailed instructions inside the user manual. Once you're finished with your installation and your turbine is up and running, when you look up, you should see an LED light. For the Airbreeze and the 40, the LED light will be green, for the Air 30 and the Air X, the LED light will be red. A solid light indicates power is good, there's enough power to produce a charge to your batteries. If you see that the LED light has a slow blinking, that means the batteries are fully charged and the overcharge protection has kicked in. Rapid blinking of the LED light indicates that the system has detected high wind speeds, high RPMs. The overspeed protection has then kicked in and will turn itself off. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Primus Airbreeze wind turbine. If you still have more questions or want to know more information, feel free to contact the staff at Weibo Solar. Thank you.